How can you incorporate self-education in your life that keeps you accountable? With all the opportunities that exist today, why haven't you reached your next level of income, life, and wealth? In most cases, we've been lied to. We've been told that if you find the right opportunity and you work hard, you can be successful. And that's simply not true. Millionaires, billionaires, and successful people have realized you need the foundation for wealth, the habits. And that's exactly what you'll be learning on the Millionaire Success Habits Podcast. All success starts here. What if inspirational quotes and motivational videos aren't enough? Hey, it's Dean Graziosi, and welcome to the Millionaire Success Habits Podcast, where we go upstream to anchor in the the habits, the rules, the foundation for long-term sustainable success in your life. That's why you're here. That's why you'd be listening to somebody like me. I'm sure you'd love to be rich tomorrow, but wouldn't you love to have success until the day you die? Wouldn't you love to be 90 years old and look back and say, wow, I squeezed all the juice out of life that was available to me, that you didn't play small, that you didn't dream, that you didn't have envy, that you didn't have comparison of others who you seemed more or seemed more successful uh, than you from the outside. So today I want to talk about motivation and inspiration. Listen, I do motivational quotes every day on Instagram and Facebook. I do motivational and inspirational videos every day on Instagram and every week on Facebook and other outlets and my podcasts, but it's not enough. Let me ask you, how many times have you watched a motivational video in your life and felt amazing, but then a few days later, nothing was different? How many times have you read a great quote that maybe if you were in your heart or in your head and the quote kind of snapped you out of it for a minute, but did anything change in your life at a long-term on a long-term basis. I want you to think about that today. I I still love inspirational and motivational videos and quotes and I will watch them till the day I die. But I know the difference and I want you to know the difference today. And I want you to think about self-education. I want you to think about being accountable for your own change. I want you to think about changing your habits that aren't serving you. You see, there's things that you do every day that don't serve your bigger future. They don't serve God. They don't serve the universe. They don't serve making more money. They don't serve the the optimal you or the elite you. There's habits that you do that actually do the complete opposite and rob you from your bigger future. Also, there's actions that you take that keep you really busy keep you that you might even feel stressed or overwhelmed, but they're not moving the needle in your life. So today, I want you to look through a different glass. I want you, or a different set of glasses. I want you to think of how can you incorporate self-education in your life that keeps you accountable, that makes you feel bad when you don't keep going. A lot of times what people think is there's so much information out there for free on the internet. Why would I ever pay for anything? And no, I'm not selling anything today, but I want you to think about all the free information that you've got in your life. Which information have you got for free made an impact in your life? I'm not saying made you didn't make you feel good or made you feel great for the day. But what free information has moved the needle in your life? And then think about any time you've ever cut a check for a course, spent money for a book, spent money for coaching or next level education. When you cut a check sometimes, when you buy the right courses and the right self-education, when you pay, you pay attention. I want you to really think about that today. If someone gives you something for free, how much do you cherish it? I mean, even my kids, my kids are only 10 and 12. It's going to be a while. But I tell my kids all the time when they're, when it's time for a car, I'm going to match the money that they save. I tell my son, because he's terrible at saving. I said, save 20 bucks, you can get a $40 car. But I want them to pay for their car. Why? Because if they pay for it, they'll clean it. They'll take care of it. They cherish, they'll cherish it. If they turn 16 and there's a brand new, beautiful BMW sitting in the driveway, what did they have to do to earn that? It's just there. How long do you think the luster, the shine, the newness of it will last? Moments. In, a, in, a, in two weeks, like, ah, oh, I gotta get gas. Ah, oh, I gotta clean my car. I know I paid for every cent of my first car. I washed it every day. I cherished it. It was like gold to me because I paid, I paid attention to that car. I want you to think about that in your own life. I don't want you to stop 
reading quotes and watching videos, including mine, especially mine. I want you that to be the, the fire. I want that to be the, the, the igniter of the fire. That needs to be the match. But the gas, the gas is self-education. If you want to be a real estate investor, get the best real estate education on the planet and immerse yourself. Stop just being motivated. You need motivation with tactics and action. Motivation, tactics, action. Everything you want. You want to get in better shape. You can't just be in, read inspirational quotes on how to get in better shape. You need tactics. You need motivation. And you need to take action. You need the trifecta. You need the whole triangle. So right now, as you're listening to this podcast, where are you in your life? Where do you want to change things? Is it about making more money? Then what are you doing with the trifecta? Do you have all three? Do you have the inspiration and motivation? Are you gaining the tactics? And then are you taking the action that's needed? Or are you dabbling? Or are you watching other people that are successful? Or are you being motivated and then get envious that someone else is making the money and you're not? Or are you running really hard, but you're not getting results? Listen, I'm not knocking inspiration and motivation at all. It's been an extremely huge part of my growth, my learning, my, my, my ability to change who I was and become the man I want to be, but it's not enough. And today, as you're listening to this podcast, I want you to think about where you can hold yourself accountable. Where can you gain the capabilities? Where can you gain the tactics? Where can you potentially cut a check for someone else's trial and error so you have the tactical skills, the capabilities? And then how can you cut out the crap in your life that doesn't move the needle and take action on the stuff that does? Listen, stop wasting time. Last 12 months went by way too fast and you know it. You can't believe it's this time of year already. And you didn't do all the things you wanted. You didn't achieve all you wanted to achieve. Let's just stop it. Let's just draw a line in the sand today. Let's stop with the busy work. Let's stop with the wasting of time. Let's stop putting off until tomorrow what we can do today. And let's start taking action. Let's combine motivation and inspiration. Go get the capabilities. Go get the tactics. Go to that next level and then cut out all the crap that's not helping you and take action now. Make the next 12 months the most impactful 12 months of your life. Stop jerking around. Literally, you're gonna turn around and be 90 in five minutes. I turned 50 this year. The last 10 years were like lightning. I'm not regretting it. It's just going faster and faster. And you know what I'm talking about. So this is your call to action. This podcast today, hopefully you've heard this stuff a million times over, but what if today was the first time you actually heard it? You felt it in your soul. You felt it in your heart and you actually do it. Stop procrastinating. Make the next 12 months the best 12 months of your life. Stay with me on Instagram, Facebook, watch my podcast, share them, tell your friends. Let's get this momentum out there and show the world what you're made of. Remember, all success starts right here. Listen, if you like the video, make sure you click subscribe right now so you never miss an episode. And while you're there, click the notification bell so you'll know when the next one goes live. You can always follow us on Instagram, and if you don't already have millionaire success habits, you can grab it for free at deansfreebook.com. Remember, all success starts here.